let's say that both Ben's shoes and Jason's shoes are publicly traded companies and that's all that all that means is that both of their shares are traded on exchanges maybe it's the the Nasdaq or the New York Stock Exchange or some other exchange and the going price on those exchanges the last closing price for Ben's stock was 2150 per share and the last closing price for Jason's stock is $12 per share what I want to explore in this video and probably the next view is what is is that saying for what the market thinks these businesses are worth? So in both of these situations, they have 10,000 shares. And remember, the shares are a split of the owner's equity. It's not a split of the assets. It's a split of just the equity part right over here. So if shareholders are willing to pay 2150 per share for Ben's stock, and there are 10,000 shares in Ben's company, so you take 2150 times, I'll do it this way, times 10,000 times 10,000 shares gives us a market cap. So 2150 times 10,000 gives us 210,000, 200, actually 215,000. $215,000. And what this says is, look, if each of those each of those 10,000 slices of the equity is worth 2150, then the entire equity portion is going to be the market is valuing it at $215,000. And this calculation, this multiplication of the market price per share times the number of shares, this is called the market cap. The market cap, short for market capitalization the market cap of the company. And all it is is, what is the market valuing the equity part of Ben's company worth? Let's do the same thing for Jason's company. You have $12 per share. So you have $12 per share times times 10,000 shares. Times 10,000 10, shares. That gives us $120,000 market cap. So the market is telling us. The market is telling us that even though on the books, Ben's equity, based on how he valued his assets and his liabilities, is 135000 the market is actually valuing this at 215000 And in the next video, we'll, we'll think about what that means for how the market is actually valuing the business. In the case of Jason's business, this instead of a $35,000 of equity, just straight up from what's on the books, the market is valuing this piece right here at $120,000. So hopefully that gives you a little sense of what, one, what shares are a share of. They're a share of the owner's equity, not of the assets. And also gives you a good sense of what market cap is. It's the market's value of the owner's equity. And notice, in both cases, and it's usually the case, it's going to be a different number than the book value, the number that's actually on the books.